Welcome to InfoSpark Hub. Globe Brief Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for updates. Tonight, we're not talking about fiction. This is a real and urgent threat. Scientists in the Philippines are warning of a geological time bomb, the Manila Trench. Hidden beneath the sea, this massive fault could unleash an earthquake as powerful as magnitude 8.4. The devastation could strike without warning, threatening millions in Luzon, including Metro Manila. Headlines warn of a looming megaquake and tsunami. These are based on years of research, not fear-mongering. FIVOLCS, the country's top earthquake authority, says it's not a question of if, but when. The centuries-long silence of this fault isn't safety, it's pressure building for a catastrophic release. Picture a normal day in Manila. Traffic, work, school. Then, suddenly, the ground heaves violently. This isn't just another tremor. This is the big one. An 8.4 quake would be hundreds of times stronger than recent global disasters, releasing energy equal to thousands of atomic bombs. The threat is real, and our modern world is fragile in the face of nature's power. But this is also a story about resilience and the urgent need for action. FIVO LCS's warnings aren't to cause panic, they're a wake-up call. Every person needs to understand the risk and take steps to protect themselves and their families. The clock is ticking, and the stakes couldn't be higher. The silent threat beneath the sea is real, and ignoring it is not an option. Preparedness is our only defense. The time to act is now. The future of millions depends on what we do next. This is not just a local issue, it's a national emergency waiting to happen. Will we be ready when the silence breaks? The answer depends on us. The West Philippine Sea looks peaceful, but beneath its surface lies the Manila Trench, a deep, dangerous scar on the ocean floor. This is an active subduction zone, where the Eurasian plate is forced under the Philippine Sea Plate. The plates grind, get stuck, and build up immense stress over centuries. Think of it as a giant ruler bending. Eventually, it snaps back with violent force. The longer the trench stays quiet, the more powerful the eventual earthquake. The danger is invisible. You can't see or feel the pressure building miles below. Communities in Pangasinan, Zambales, and Bataan live right in the line of fire, often unaware of the threat offshore. The sea that sustains them could one day turn deadly. This hidden fault is why scientists are sounding the alarm. The beautiful coastline masks a brewing catastrophe. Understanding this threat is the first step to survival. The Manila Trench isn't an abstract concept. It's a direct, imminent danger. Its awakening could change the Philippines forever. We must look beyond the calm horizon and face the reality beneath. The time to prepare is before the shaking starts. 5-0-LCS warnings are grounded in decades of scientific data. GPS and seismic sensors show the Manila Trench is locked, not releasing pressure through small quakes. This seismic gap means the fault is primed for a massive rupture. An 8.4 quake would be over 200 times more powerful than Haiti's 2010 disaster. The shaking could last minutes, an eternity in an earthquake. History shows the trench has produced giant quakes and tsunamis before. The long silence means stress is at a critical level. There may be no warning, no signs before disaster strikes. Preparedness, not prediction, is our best defense. The risk is certain. The time to act is now. Imagine a busy afternoon in Metro Manila. Suddenly, a deep rumble grows into a deafening roar. The ground shakes violently, tossing cars and shattering windows. The shaking lasts minutes, plunging the city into chaos and darkness. In coastal towns, the ground liquefies, buildings collapse, roads split and landslides bury homes. Communication is cut. Survival becomes the only focus. Then, along the coast, the sea recedes rapidly. A final, terrifying warning. The ocean is about to unleash a massive tsunami. The wave, generated by the seafloor's violent shift, races toward shore at jet speed. For millions, this is a nightmare scenario. But it's a real possibility. The earthquake is just the beginning. The tsunami could be even deadlier. Scenes of panic and destruction are not exaggerations. They're based on real disasters elsewhere. This is a multifaceted catastrophe that will test the nation's resilience. The aftermath will be chaos, fear, and a desperate struggle for survival. 
The only way to reduce the toll is to prepare now. The threat is real, and the consequences are unimaginable. Will we be ready when disaster strikes? The answer depends on what we do today. When the shaking stops, a new race begins, a race against the sea. In Luzon's coastal communities, the tsunami could arrive in just five to 20 minutes. The earthquake itself is your warning. There's no time to wait for alerts. If you feel intense, prolonged shaking, see the sea retreat, or hear a roaring sound, evacuate to higher ground immediately. Don't gather belongings or watch the shore. Every second counts. The tsunami won't be a single wave, but a series, some larger than the first. These waves can travel kilometers inland, destroying everything in their path. Metro Manila, especially low-lying districts, is also at risk. The combination of shaking, liquefaction, and tsunami surge is a nightmare for the capital. The window for survival is small and closes fast. Preparedness and immediate action save lives. The race is on, will you be ready? To understand the Manila Trench threat, look to history. In 2004, a magnitude 9.1 quake off Sumatra triggered a tsunami that killed over 230,000 people. Many victims didn't recognize the warning signs or have time to escape. In 2011, Japan's magnitude 9.0 quake and tsunami killed nearly 20,000, despite world-class preparedness. Sea walls and drills helped, but nature's force overwhelmed even the best defenses. The lesson awareness, rapid evacuation, and public education are as vital as engineering. The Manila Trench shares chilling parallels, large, vulnerable populations on exposed coasts. These disasters are not distant history, they're warnings. We must learn from them and act before it's too late. Preparedness is our only shield. The stakes are clear. The time to learn is now. Will we heed the lessons of the past? An 8.4 quake from the Manila Trench would devastate Metro Manila. The city's skyline could become a landscape of damaged, unstable buildings. Liquefaction would cause structures to tilt or sink, breaking vital pipes and sparking fires. Bridges and roads would collapse, isolating districts and crippling emergency response. Millions could be left homeless, injured, and without basic necessities. Hospitals would be overwhelmed. Law and order could break down. The economic fallout would cripple the nation. Metro Manila drives a third of the country's GDP. Rebuilding would take decades and cost billions. This isn't just a public safety threat, it's a national security crisis. Preparedness is a national imperative. The survival of the modern Philippines depends on it. Will we act before it's too late? Despair isn't an option. Preparedness is. Fival CS leads the charge, mapping hazards and informing the public. Early warning systems, sea level monitors, and tsunami alerts are in place, but only work if maintained and understood. Community drills and education build muscle memory for real disasters. Enforcing building codes and reaching vulnerable communities remain challenges. Preparedness is a shared responsibility. Government, local leaders, and citizens must work together. The goal, a nation ready to face disaster, minimizing loss of life. Every drill, every plan, every alert matters. Complacency is the enemy. The fight for preparedness is ongoing. Will we rise to the challenge? The threat is real, and survival starts with you. Have a plan. Discuss with your family what to do when the shaking starts. Set clear meeting points and make sure everyone knows them. Prepare a go bag with essentials for 72 hours, water, food, flashlight, first aid, documents. Know your evacuation routes, walk them with your family. Secure heavy furniture to prevent injuries. Your preparation protects you and eases the burden on emergency responders. The time to act is now, not when disaster strikes. Don't let fear paralyze you. Let it drive you to prepare. Talk to neighbors, organize your community, demand action. Preparedness is by Aeneas in action. The future depends on what we do today. Together, we can face the silent threat and protect our nation.